Okay guys, I thought I will solve one of the greatest mysteries of our life in tanks, that is the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is a triangular part of the northwestern Atlantic Ocean. The three points of the triangle are comprised by Puerto Rico, Florida and the Bermuda Islands. In this part of the Atlantic Ocean, several ships have been reported missing, several aircrafts have been missing, and some of the stories are rather curious. There have been reported incidents of ships missing for many years, and after many years, these ships have been found floating like derelict ships sans its crew in the sense the ship is fresh and fine but the crew is missing now let's examine what is the truth of the Bermuda Triangle is it truly something mysterious or is it just a fabricated story some of the slides please okay now what you see here is the Bermuda Triangle. The top of the pyramid is the Puerto Rico. In one corner of the base you have Bermuda and at the other corner you have Florida. This is the, the geographical positioning of the Bermuda Triangle. This is the large part of the Atlantic Ocean. And in this part of the ocean, as I have already mentioned, many ships and planes have been missing. And there have been very many theories. One of them is that, next slide please. In this part of the ocean, large whirlpools form suddenly, very large whirlpools. And they just, just suck in the ships and boats cruising through this part of the ocean. Okay, maybe true. One can never predict which part of the ocean the whirlpools will form and what exactly is the mechanism and the reason for the same are still unknown to science. So maybe true. Moving on. Next slide. What about the aircrafts? You know, there have been uh, fabricated stories. There have been uh, notions that aircrafts are just sucked into aerial whirlpools. Aerial whirlpools are actually uh, something like your typhoon, your twister, your cyclone which forms in the air and this sucks in aircrafts into the sea. See as you see on the screen. All these notions have been running for many years now. All these hypotheses could be true. But then today let me prove something to you statistically once for all and clear all doubts about the Bermuda Triangle. Back to me. Okay, when I tell you the statistics, you'll find the story rather funny. See, the number of ships and planes lost in this area of the ocean, Atlantic Ocean, called the Bermuda Triangle, is just comparable to any other equivalent area in square miles in any other part of the ocean. See, what I'm saying is, you just count the number of ships lost, number of planes lost. This is just more or less the same as other parts of the ocean. Similar sized areas in other part of the ocean. So there is nothing big or there is nothing more than the other parts of the ocean. The Bermuda Triangle has caused loss of same or similar number of ships and planes as any other part of the ocean. Nothing remarkable here. So that in itself wipes off large part of the mystery. The second aspect is that many of these stories are part truths. Say in a court of law, you will always say, I'll, I wove hereby that I'll tell the court the truth, the entire truth, 
nothing but the truth and the complete truth. Similarly, in Bermuda Triangle, the truth many a time is either incomplete or truth has been mixed with things which are not true. See, for example, many of the boats which have been reported missing have been found later, but the discovery is not reported. Only the missing part is reported. Similarly, many of the boats have been missing, true, but their return as derelict ships without sand screw has no proof. Some of the planes have been missing, but then these planes appearing again in the skies has not been reported with evidence. In other words, what you are hearing about Bermuda Triangle is the part truth. It is not the complete truth. It is many a, many a time mixed with untruth. So to clear all your doubts about Bermuda Triangle, is just another slice of the ocean, part of the ocean. With the equivalent number of accidents, loss of ships and loss of planes, comparable to any other part of the ocean. There is nothing special about Bermuda Triangle, absolutely nothing. See, just to make uh, things clearer to you, let's say, there is uh, somebody tells you that a particular bathroom in a house is haunted. So when you enter this bathroom, twice or thrice the power went off. Because the story is, is in the background of your mind, you tend to believe it is part of the haunting that you enter this bathroom, power goes off. But you may miss to notice that in every other bathroom in that house, in the same frequency, power has gone off when you enter. That doesn't register in your mind. In this particular case, it registers because there is a story of the haunting in the background. Exactly the same thing is happening in Bermuda Triangle. Number of ships lost, number of planes lost in Bermuda Triangle is exactly the same as the number of ships lost or similar as the number of ships lost and planes lost in any other part of the ocean, in any other part of the world in the same time frame. Okay? So there is no such thing as the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. There is nothing strange about Bermuda Triangle. It is just another slice of the ocean with the same frequency of whirlpools, aerial whirlpools, loss of ships, loss of planes and such disasters. Nothing different about Bermuda Triangle. I hope that will clear all doubts about Bermuda Triangle without a shadow of doubt. Thank you very much.